A new migrant caravan of some 15,000 people is said to be preparing to leave Honduras in mid-January. This time, though, it's not headed straight to the U.S. Reports say the caravan will travel to southern Mexico for migrants to find work there. The first caravan from Honduras left back in October with many migrants still stranded at the U.S.-Mexico border. They're seeking asylum in the United States. For more on the migrant crisis in the U.S., my colleague Mike Walters spoke to Alex Nauruste. He's a senior immigration policy analyst at the Cato Institute, and they talked about the impact of the Honduran migrant caravan that approached the U.S. and about its impact. And a big takeaway is that when Americans think the border is chaotic, that there are people coming who are breaking the laws, where it looks like there's no law and order at all, they sort of reflexively uh, cringe. They don't like what's going on. They don't want to loosen the rules. They don't want to have more legal immigration, say, or make it easier for people who are here illegal, illegally to get legal status. It's like the, the, the idea is that chaos and the perceptions of chaos are really a killer when it comes to any kind of compromise on these debates. And I think that's the number one issue. If you didn't have a Mexican border, let's say, with the United States, if we didn't border a poor country, I think we would have solved this immigration crisis a long time ago. Speaking of solving uh, the migration crisis, when you look at what's happened and transpired in the last year or so, separation of children, mm. we, we see these images of kids in cages, basically, mm. you hear about this uh, child dying of dehydration. I mean, there's so many sad stories out there. Now you have a uh, Democratic House. Is there any likelihood that, that there can be comprehensive reform? I mean, people talk about it, it seems like every year, you, as long as you've been in this business, people have been talking about it. I mean, is there any sense that something can happen? Well, there's always a possibility that something can happen. I, I think the chances of a comprehensive bill solving all of these problems is, is very low. But the chance that you can get some kind of deal for the DACA kids, you know, the kids who were brought here as illegal immigrants by their parents when they were young, have grown up American, some deal to legalize them in addition to giving money for border security or perhaps even Donald Trump's wall. I think some kind of compromise along those lines is possible. And it's especially more likely to happen after the Supreme Court rules on any kind of DACA case. Remember, the President Trump repealed President Obama's DACA uh, legalization for these kids. It's been held up in the courts. The Supreme Court is supposed to, will likely rule on that um, in the early part of 2019, maybe in the middle of the year. When that happens, that will finally put some pressure, I think, on Congress. And Democrats want to legalize these folks. Republicans want their wall, and a lot of them want to legalize these folks, too. So I think there's opportunity for compromise. And I think it's especially likely because uh, President Trump is not going to get his wall prior to the end of this year. You brought up the wall. Uh, is it the answer? The wall is absolutely not the answer. Uh, if you take a look at the illegal immigrants who are currently in the United States, uh, about 45% of them actually entered legally and overstayed their visas. When you take a look at the numbers of people coming across the border illegally, it's down by about 75% over the last 18 years. Uh, and that's because generally Mexican illegal immigration to the U.S. has disappeared. It's now almost entirely Central Americans, like in this caravan uh, from um, uh, Honduras coming up to the United States. So the wall is not the answer to that. The wall won't stop it. The only thing that really can is to make it easier to come into the country legally.